Hey Google, turn the kettle on. Right, so now we've got the brew out of the way, um, I'm going to tell you what we're doing in this video. Today's video, we're going to be making a little stand for my phone in my 86. I've got nowhere to put my phone at the moment. I plug it in and I chuck it in the back, and it's not the best. It just kind of dangles around back there. So what I'm going to try doing is making a little bit of a stand or something in my car. Um, I'm going to use a couple of different methods to try um, getting it 3D printed off, because I've got a 3D printer, and we're going to be 3D printing a little piece off today. Uh, I've got a magnetic stand. Uh, at the moment, one of them little things that you magnetically stick your phone to. I'm going to be using that and I'm going to basically just stick my phone, well, to my car every time I jump in and plug it in. It should be pretty easy, but I'm going to model it. So what I'm going to do to model it is I'm going to use, as you can see, I'm a bit blue at the moment. I'm like uh, blue double D, double D. I'm basically, I'm super blue at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this software to basically model what I'm looking at. Um, so I should be able to draw it up easier when I'm 3D modeling it in, I'll probably use Cura or something, uh, not Cura, I'll probably use, um, I'll probably use some modeling software and model it up. But as you can see here, there's a little test. That's my face. Uh, so I'm modeling my face. Um, and it looks kind of creepy to be honest, it looks a bit creepy. Ooh, really creepy. But basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm, I'm going to be um, using that. I'm going to be also using my 3D pen, draw around the area and just getting as mo many measurements as I can so I can get this thing printed. Uh, when I get it modelled and printed off, it should fit perfectly on my car. To do the 3D scan, I'm using uh, just an app on my phone. I'll link it in the description. Uh, if As long as you've got a phone that has a face scanner on it, you, you should be able to 3D scan uh, anything you want, basically. Uh, and you can use it as a reference for modelling pretty easy, it just makes it that little bit easier rather than having the object, obviously I can't have my car in my bedroom with me but using this will help. So I'm just going to make a start with this uh, little 3D pen, I'm using the 3D pen uh, just so I've got, you can use my scale ruler and I can have exact measurements on exactly how like bigger spaces I've got and stuff like on the back there there's that quite big space um, and I can just use it to really get a good scale, you don't have to worry about it damaging the car, these little 3D pens they, they the filament gets warm, but it doesn't get warm, as in like you could probably put it on your hand if you really want. I mean, I wouldn't, but you probably can. So I'm just going to draw around it now. Uh, I'll just time lapse it for you guys, uh, and I'll be right back when I'm done. <laughs> Right, so that's come off pretty well. Let's just do some quick sketches to make it even easier for us to model it. Right, so it might not look like much, but that is the exact angle of what I need um, if I'm gonna 3D print anything off. So all I need to do now is get the measurements, uh, go on the computer and get to modeling. I've modeled something before for this car. Uh, a similar idea. Um, instead of what I'm gonna, obviously this time, I'm gonna get something sticky there and I'm gonna stick it to, so that I imagine this is like got a sticky pad on it. I'm basically going to clamp it on. You can see that this thing that I made was pretty close to say that I used um, just measurements alone. And you can't really see it too well, but it doesn't cost much to print stuff, so I might as well uh, give it a go. But yeah, that's actually pretty useful, that. Uh, I'll go up to the computer now and get modelling. Right, so this is Tinkercad. This is what I use to do most of my modelling on. It's a bit of free software. Um, you can download it right now as long as you've got a computer. It, it's great fun just for starting off modelling, but also for something a little bit more complex, you know. But what I'm doing is fairly simple, so this will be more than enough to be able to uh, model what I'm wanting to model. Um, so I'm just going to time lapse this for you guys so you can just zip it through. Uh, so it's just flying through basically, because otherwise, I think I was doing this for about an hour and a half. You don't want to watch an hour and a half. So what I'm going to do is just fast forward this for you guys. Uh, I might butt in every now and then and just kind of explain stuff, but yeah, let's get to modeling it.
this seemed to be the most difficult part was getting all the lev uh, all the letters straight um, on my name and then GT86. Um, the software is really not built for like doing letters downwards, so uh, that's probably my, the most difficult bit, especially with someone like me who's super OCD about things like that. But I got it done in the end. Right, so let's export this over to Cura. Cura is a really good um, software that basically gets you 3D models and makes them printable. Um, it's the one that I like to use the most. Um, if you want to see what kind of settings I'm using, they're up there on the right. I'll slow the video down uh, now and then you can see them all. But yeah, that's that should they should print off. I've got it on highest quality, so it should print off just fine. Um, I'm gonna see. I might might take a couple of attempts. Sometimes it does with 3D printing, but because obviously I'm gonna have to use better supports. Uh, other than that. It should be fine, but yeah, my printer is the Ender Free, so this setup what I've got is best for the Ender Free. It's, it's a popular printer; a lot of people have them who like three D printing. So, if you if you have got Ender Free and you want and you use Cura, this is probably the so, this is probably the settings that you want. Obviously, change it like raft and stuff will need changing. Um, you get used to it if you start printing three D printing more things off. But yeah, let's get this set up on the printer and print it off. Right, so you can see there I've done a pretty good job. Um, they are bang on, I've fact I've even got the uh, digital scale here. You can see there that, that I mean I have, I have put it correctly, but you can see that it's pretty much tight. It's, you know, that's that's exactly what it is. So it's a 16.7 and then this is exactly the same. And you can see the little, it's, it's bang on, basically. Not a bad job. I mean, there's a little bit of um, expansion and well, the exact opposite that goes on when you 3D print, but I mean, that is, once you get it on there properly, it's a bit hard to obviously put on properly, but you can see on both of them there, it's bang on. Um, you can actually see really well on camera exactly what the 3D printer's done. Um, it's a little bit mucky on the back than it is on the front, because um, I obviously printed it off like this, so it had a little bit of support under there, but it doesn't matter. Uh, this goes around it just fine, so I'll attach that now, get the double-sided sticky tape, and then fit it on the 86. Right, so we've got the uh, double-sided sticky tape on the back there now. Um, I've just trimmed that because I've used this stuff, this, um, what's it? Mammoth double-sided sticky tape, it's really good stuff. So this should work because it's quite heavy with, um, the old, I've got the iPhone X, so it's quite a heavy phone and I don't want it coming off. And then you can see there that this can be put in any which direction and then tightened um, and then it stays solid. And then my phone, I'm not gonna do it, but my phone just clips onto that there, so and I've obviously, on, on this as well, I've got Caleb's uh, GT86. So now let's go to the 86 and fit it on and uh, see if it fits in. It should do, I've measured it. Right, so I've lined it up in here um, and it seems, it looks really dusty actually, but um, it's just the print, like the filament. I need to just clear these out first. The, um, the filament's kind of stringy. Um, cause, uh, this just seems to be this black filament that I use, kind of stringy. Uh, but I've lined it up and it lines up well just when it lines up there so there is, is is bang on bang on where it wants to be to be honest it's a little bit as I've noticed there's a little bit of a rock on it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on test it out because it's quite sticky tape so it, sh it should be okay uh, but if it's not and it doesn't want to um, work with me and it wants to pop off I'll have to recreate another one um, and make that a slight angle instead of having it straight make it curve and then that should fit on but yeah let's uh, peel the stickiness off the back and, and let's see where it sits best i might spend a couple of minutes doing this but the phone sits perfectly there it's great i can fit my uh, wire in there from the for the phone so i'll get it set up now Right, so the quality might have dipped a bit. I'm just using my mum's phone to uh, video mine up there. You can see mine's here now. Um, that's really bright. But you can see there. Oh, and it's really dim now. <laughs> that's the point, so I can just take it off. It fits really nicely in there. Uh, you can see the eight, Caleb's 86, just just enough, really. I mean, I could have put nothing on it and made it look clean, but I, I quite like a little custom touch on there. And try that again. On. And off. And on. 
and it can shake around like hell because I've tested this case load, uh, this case, I've tested that magnet loads on that, that's a really good one to buy that. I recommend this one, it's a very strong magnet, it hasn't come off yet while I'm driving. Yeah. So let's switch back to, to this, this camera here and see if there's a quality difference. There we go. <laughs> now we're back to what is apparently 4K, although it doesn't look, it looks just as bad. Got all grainy cameras on the iPhones. Yeah, so obviously it's my mum, so it's not going to stick. Did that just... Okay, I think there's some metal components in the back of the iPhone I probably should be sticking it to. But yeah, there you go. Um, great mod, it fits nicely in the back there and it's really solid. It's, it looks pretty good, it looks really neat, I love that. So, I'm blubbering on now, but that's the end of the video pretty much. So, if you liked the video, leave a like. If um, you want this 86 stand, I might, if any of you actually request it, I might um, leave it on Fingerverse. So if you want to, you know, uh, print it off, obviously it won't have my name on the side. <laughs> I'll probably just get rid of that naming. So you guys, if you if you felt like um, doing something like this yourself, you can. Uh, and you know what, if I live with this and I like it, I might even make one that kind of arches around these curves and stuff a little bit better. Um, especially that curve, especially that curve there. But to be honest, this does the job just fine, especially if you have some good double-sided tape like I've got. So yeah, if you don't mind subscribing and liking, I upload every two weeks now, maybe every week if I, if I, if I uh, have a good idea. Um, and I'm loving it, I've well, been doing YouTube three months now, so it's only going to get better and more, you know, my content will probably only get better quality. Uh, I'm loving the 86, I've got something coming soon and I can't wait and that's going to be great when I get that, I'm getting it shipped from America. Anyway, um, see you guys later, bye.